What's up guys, Justin here of Yuga Tech, and today we're checking out some of the top entry-level smartphones priced under 10,000 pesos that were released during this first half of 2020. First, we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9. When it comes to powerful, budget smartphones, you can never go wrong with Xiaomi. The Redmi Note 9 packs a 6.53-inch Full HD Plus display, a MediaTek Helio G85 processor, up to 4GB of RAM, and up to 128GB of internal storage. It also comes with a quad rear camera setup and a huge 5020mAh battery with 18 watts fast charging with a 225 watts charger included. Second, we got the Realme 6i. The Realme 6i is a strong start to the lineups as release here in the Philippines, providing a lot of features and reliable performance at an affordable price. For a starting price of 7,990 pesos for the 3GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage and 9,990 pesos for the 4GB of RAM plus 128GB of internal storage, you'll be getting a sizable 6.5-inch HD Plus display, a MediaTek Helio G80 processor, quad rear cameras, and a huge 5000 mAh battery with 18 watts fast charging. Next up, there's the Huawei Y7P. This phone is a pretty decent smartphone that sits right between the entry level and the mid-range segment. For its price tag of 9990 pesos, you get a visually pleasing smartphone with triple rear cameras that produce good images, a sizable 6.39 inch HD Plus display, a 4000 mAh battery with 10 watt charging support, and a reasonably competent performance with its high Silicon Kirin 710F processor. On the fourth spot, we have an entry-level offering from Oppo, the A31. It features a 6.5-inch HD Plus IPS display, a MediaTek Helio P35 chipset paired with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It also comes with a triple camera setup and a sizable 4230mAh battery. It's priced at 8,990 pesos. Fifth, we got the Realme 5i. The Realme 5i is basically a Realme 5 but with a lower front camera resolution, different design, and a lower price tag. Priced at 6,990 pesos with 3 gigabytes plus 64 gigabytes configuration, it's just a thousand pesos less compared to the Realme 5 with the same configuration. Up next, we have the Huawei Y7. Huawei has released quite a few budget smartphones in the first half of 2020, and the Y7 is one of them. It packs a 6.2-inch HD Plus display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 processor, 4GB of RAM, and 64GB of internal storage. It comes with a 4000mAh battery with 10 watt charging support, and it's priced at 6990 pesos. Next on our list is the Huawei Y6P. The Huawei Y6P is priced at 5000 990 pesos, which is a solid deal considering its massive battery, deliverable cameras, wireless reverse charging support, 64GB of internal storage, and 4GB of RAM when usually phones on this price range typically has 3GB. At number 8, we have the Realme C3. This looks to be a decent upgrade from the C2. It's got a decent and bright display, a rather new entry-level gaming chipset, a decent battery life, and a pretty nice interface. Users might be disappointed in the lack of nightscape and the device's micro USB port. Still, for a price tag of 5,990 pesos, the C3 is an impressively competent smartphone. At number 9, we got the Nokia 2.3. For 5,990 pesos, the Nokia 2.3 could be a great device for people who want a phone that's a couple steps up from feature phones. If you want something for social media, YouTube, Netflix, emails, browsing the web, and Waze while you're driving around, the Nokia 2.3 could handle all that. On the 10th spot, we have the Huawei Y5P. The Huawei Y5P has a 5.45-inch full-view display, 8-megapixel HD rear camera, face unlock, 2GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, and 3,020mAh battery. It's priced at 4,490 pesos. And last but definitely not the least, we got the Nokia C1. Despite its low specs, the Nokia C1 still get all the quality-of-life benefits of having a smartphone like surfing the web, 
web, emails, and viewing content. If you're in a really tight budget, you can get this one for just 2,990 pesos. And there you go. Did we miss anything on this list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop us a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.